Hi everyone, welcome back to another review by Orange Hedgehog 2012. Today I'm going to be doing a, well, <laughs> you'll probably see in a minute, a plush review on this lovely lady here. Now before I get into the review, um, just to give you a quick rundown of this plush. Um, I originally got her from Australia and to be honest, when I saw her, I thought she was a lovely quirky plush because I thought originally she was a custom made plush and the second obviously reasons because she was really cheap um, I literally won her for about $4.95 Australian so literally around about £2, £2 something um, shipping wasn't too bad it was around about £17 um, Australian dollars so in total came to around about i don't know about i don't know what 17 dollars is in in terms of like uk pounds but anywho um i got her today and i was literally a bit gobsmacked actually because i knew she had a, a touch tag on her but it was blank in the photo but when i actually looked at the tag this is what i saw it's actually a toy network uh, plush um, I used to have one um, a large shadow one but I sold it because to be honest the quality was absolutely atrocious with this one um, should I really complain because to be honest I've never ever seen a toy network rouge plush to be honest I've always seen like um, knuckles sonic and shadow ones but I've never seen a rouge one so could this possibly be a rare plush that Toy Network made in limited um, numbers? If you do know, please, you know, leave a comment down below in the comment comment section. So, yeah, let's um, get on with the review. Now, in terms of height, um, I think she's around about sort of between, probably at the size of a ruler, so about 30 centimetres tall. Um, let me see if I can find my tape measure I don't know what that is in terms of inches to be honest and I don't think do I have it on me I don't think I do but in terms of inches I reckon she's around about between uh, 11 12 inches maybe something like that I'll have to measure and then put a link in the um, We'll put a uh, thing in the description there. But yeah, let's get on with the review. As you can see, this is the lovely Rouge the Bat. Um, in terms of quality, um, she's not the greatest, but I suppose she's not too bad, to be honest. Um, there are some sections where, you know, she does look a bit, mm, a bit not too sure. But what I loved about this is the her ears. They've included the, um, for the design, they've included the, the darker sort of sandy colour with the light sandy colour for her ears and the sort of imparts for her ears. She's made from sort of like a um, synthetic material. She's not made from like felt or like a soft plush material. She's made from like um, a combination of like synthetic and sort of like nylon material. The sort of same material you'd find on sort of like um, football shirts, um, like American football sort of shirt things. So yeah, let's start with her head first. Um, I don't know if she originally came with like a gold hang string. I very much doubt that. Um, but in terms of design and quality, it's not too bad. Her nose is a bit wonky, but um, it's brown. And as you can hear there, her nose is made from plastic. There we go. In very good condition, actually. It's, it hasn't got any sort of obvious sort of scratches or dents or anything. Her mouth, yeah. Her mouth's a bit weird. It has been sort of placed really awkwardly. Um, and there's no sort of obvious, obvious design in terms of like her sort of lipstick slash lip gloss. It's just literally like a almost like a smiling sort of uh, transfer print design there. 
so yeah that's um an obvious fault there her eyes as you can see it's a sort of vinyl transfer they've used um basically the same color for her eyes as well as a sort of eyeliner but um they've done it really well though they've placed it in the right way um her eyelashes aren't as long as her sort of original character design but um it's not too bad nonetheless her ears they've done a, a nice sort of um detail there actually they could have just gone down the road just using sort of like um a vinyl transfer for the in sections of her ears but no they've actually used two separate pieces of material there it's quite nice actually because it's got some softness to it so um it'll probably say on the tag in a moment when i show you um what sort of contents what she's made from moving down to her sort of heart-shaped breast breastplate or something um they have made it sort of like a sort of 3d sort of design but they haven't included any cleavage so you know most of the other rouge the back plushes do have some a bit of oomph shall i say in in sort of that area but with toy network they probably thought oh, this is going to be sort of for uh, kiddies you don't want to have sort of um that in in that for for kids toys so um yeah but um yeah they haven't gone all out to be honest with the the heart shape it looks very much like a a pretty sort of lame excuse for a heart shaped thing but um it's not too bad they could have gone down the road as i said rather than just having this separate piece here rather than having that they could have just done one with a sort of shape to it flat and whatnot so it's not too bad her arms not too bad with her gloves um yeah the gloves themselves they're not too bad um they've used the same sort of basic thread material for her gloves her pink gloves you can get them down there i think until where that pink section is the um what do you call it it's not coming to me but um, anyway this is the right side of her glove her original tag i reckon would have been maybe even oh yeah there's a tiny hole there so i assume that's originally where her tag would have been and i'm pretty sure it's that circular tag with um a sonic x design of sonic in sort of blue and i'm pretty sure i have seen it somewhere but anyway moving down this is her cat suit um purple um, i don't know why they've done purple there because originally I mean, her wings are purple. Her catsuit is black. Um, her old original design in Sonic Adventure um, 2, I can't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure it was black. But anywho, they you know, decided to do it in purple to match her wings. Moving down to her boots. They're actually not too bad, actually. Here's a side profile. They do look a bit cartoony, I must admit. But... Um, it's actually not too bad to be honest the um pink heart shaped tips to her boots are a bit wonky but um a bit oddly shaped but not too bad as i say you, yeah you can get your fingers down there sort of that sort of level and if i flip her over and if i show you the tag because originally the photo was taken with that so obviously it was blank so i originally thought it was just like a custom made plush but no it's got two separate pieces oops sorry if i change over hands as you can see it's made by toy network all, all new materials consisting of polyester fiber polyurethane foam made in china so basically synthetic sort of materials um you've got the copyright copyright sonic project license registration number uh not for children under the age of three and this one is probably just like here yeah not to be removed until delivered to the customer okay blah 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 all the materials and that's about it really nothing interesting there about the touch tag 
as I'm here, I might as well show you the back of her head. Very similar um, design with the uh, Sonic X Volume 2 rouge. It's got like sort of like a semi-transparent look to her ears. They haven't sort of um, stuffed it at all. They've just left that sort of hollow, if you will. But um, I must admit, I do like the, the design to her sort of hair. Sort of flicking up there. Her wings are a bit floppy, I must admit. They haven't been stuffed as well. The right one does seem to sort of have a mind of its own, really. But the design, they haven't gone... They haven't done anything at all, at, at all to be honest. They've just literally used a, a thick piece of like um, purple synthetic material and then shaped it into the shape of her wings. And that's it. They haven't used any stitch design. But I think this was originally supposed to be like a... Um, even like a carnival prize or a really cheap sort of um, plush toy to be honest so they're not going to go all out with that the right side of her wing it's quite strange actually because um i think round about the i think it's like either the end of november or sometime in november oh no sorry i take that back i think it's um october um GE, that's Great Eastern Entertainment, are releasing a Rouge the Bat to Plush. Um, and I think that's going to be round about sort of up October time, round about the end of October. So really looking forward to that. And obviously we'll definitely be getting her and definitely be doing a, re a review on her. They have released a silver and I have seen a photo. And to be honest, it is not my cup of tea at all. And I'm really glad I didn't actually buy him because... Um, yeah it's not really that great to be honest anywho back to rouge this is the back of her boots um if i show you her tail her tail has been done in purple i don't know why they've obviously continued that trend the shape of the tail is not too bad it's um yeah i wouldn't say it's not too bad to be honest uh the back of her boots and the soles of her boots the stuffing as well is not too bad. The way it's been sort of distributed around her body is not too bad. Because um, some of these, I think the larger ones, did have sort of um, polystyrene sort of beans. But this one, I think, is just all stuffing in her, yeah. It's all just like stuffing. So, um, just to give you a sort of side profile there of Rouge really cool to be honest i've never actually seen uh one for sale which is really weird and quite ironic considering that um toy network is a like a u.s based um toy manufacturer and i got this in australia which is really yeah ironic considering but um i'm really glad to have in my collection i am a big rouge the bat fan um and um, yeah, there's not really that much m uh, rouge sort of merch out there, really. Uh, what I might do actually is I might pop her up against the bed so you can get a better look at her. She does stand up not too badly, actually. Yeah, there we go. Really cool. So yeah, guys, this has been my review on the Rouge the Bat Toy Network Plush. Um, if you like this review, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate your feedback and stuff. And as always, if you're new and you've stumbled across my um, my video, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more, then please feel free to check out my channel for more plush and non-plush related collectibles from my collection. And as always, guys, keep your eyes peeled for more reviews in the coming months. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye!